so I've been looking into this Ludwig stuff. I've been doing a video, and uh, everything seems to make sense to me from your perspective, except for one thing. What can you tell me about Will Neff? Because I, I know I noticed you 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 leaked something about Will Neff there, and from my perspective, it didn't really seem necessary to leak that, regardless if he is cheating on his girl or whatever. Do you think that Hassan can't stop crying about you even offline when hanging out with these people? Oh, yes. Oh, I guess I can say that now because f both. Um, Melina, in between uh, talking to me about f***ing Will and showing me his pictures on her f phone um, when they weren't trying to hook up behind his girlfriend's back, Melina would tell me that Will would tell her that Hassan religiously follows my f So I guess I kind of lied about that publicly when I'm like, do these people actually watch me that much? They do. Hassan obsessively follows a lot of my f um, And I knew that because Will told that to Melina, which I thought was funny as f I just didn't really see the I just hate the Caroline but... person so much, and all these people talk about me so much, and it's annoying, like, knowing about them that, yeah, it's just, I hate Do them. all of the, do, do, like, did Will Neff do that? Um, do what? Um, I don't think did Will he, Neff talks he... about me much at all, but he was, like, fairly close friends with Melina's, maybe that's why not, but I don't know. I don't... Did, well, did, I, honest did to God, I, it's funny, because, like, going back and everything, honest to God, of all the stuff, because I, through other parties, I know of Will quite a bit, Will actually seems like an okay guy. I've never heard him do anything, like, weird or I guess, except cheating. Um, but I don't care about that. Um, but, yeah, otherwise it doesn't seem like it is weird or crazy. So, I guess from my perspective, it just seems weird to leak that when it didn't really seem necessary, I guess. Oh, no, yeah, I just hate all those people. So, you know, kind of like when you bomb an apartment complex, you get some civilians. Sometimes you just want to watch the people scream. And I, I hate like that that's Caroline really, I feel like that's. I feel like that's not really a good justification for that. Come on. Uh, I, probably not, no. I just hate the Caroline person. I'm not giving you a job. I'm just telling you why. I'm not saying it was like justified. I just really fucking hate. Somebody said Caroline made fun of my divorce. There you go. Boom. Okay. All right. Well, I guess at least I got an explanation for that, so I don't have to. Uh, yeah. There wasn't like a sophisticated plan of like, yeah, this blah blah blah. Like, I don't think he's actually ever said anything up to me in public. So that's a uh, we call those uh, collateral damages. Here I'm actually so glad you decided to do that the same weekend I dropped the Skeffles video because I kind of like split the internet attention. Mm-hmm. Or it wasn't entirely focused on that. <laughs> like it just kind of came out of nowhere. Uh -huh. um, but I, I don't know, man. I mean, that whole like Twitch side of the community, it just, uh, it seems, it, I've always said it, it always feels like some high school click. Um, if you're in it, you're in it. If you're not, then you're always going to be like an observer. And I don't really think there's ever really a reason to keep trying to be friends with people that, you know, will never let you in their click. Like uh -huh. this one crazy chick, Frogan or whatever, like Jesus. Ludwig goes out and gives like, I think 10k to Palestinian charity, like a specific charity. Mm -hmm. And what was the whole complaint there? Like she brings this cracker discourse. Like it's just, it's such a weird poison the situation. Frogan person is unironically like an internet terrorist. Like she's just a horrible, horrible, horrible human being. And her takes and everything are stupid. Um, and she's just, yeah, she's just a terrible person. But like Hassan will defend it because she's like part of that orbiter network. Like the denims, Frogan, uh, Mike. Bro, I cannot stand denims. Like she looked at the thumbnail for the Skeffles video, and it's like, mm -hmm. well, that's just transphobic. And I'm like, yeah, she is right. also a horrible, <laughs> terrible person. Her, Mike, and Frogan all share like the worst uh, of the worst of like how you can be as people. Yeah, and they're all dumb, and they're all like very confident, and they're all like very judgmental. And yeah, what else do you want, Tom? Anything else? I guess is there any other um, is there any like big through line for this drama? I guess you said it wasn't like a calculated thing. Um, but do you do you think like long term what you've revealed I guess or exposed a little bit will have consequences for these people or do you think they'll be just fine? No, they'll be just fine. Okay. okay. The um All the right. the through line is basically that um uh as Hassan started to get more popular uh after he left my community or got or we split or whatever whatever you want to call that um Hassan is very networking focused like he's very good at like making progressively larger friends and like getting involved in those networks of people but part of him being involved in those networks there were two huge parts um one is kind of like the spreading of his political message which these communities are already receptive to because it's kind of like young zimmer communities who are very online yeah. And, yeah um so that was a big part of it and then the second part was like the exclusion of me or anything relating of me to uh, to me from these communities which was very frustrating um because that meant that basically any large event now even when i wasn't banned on twitch i'm like never getting invited to so even though personally i might have a lot of decent relationships with people um like ms kiff or any, or really like any of these other big streamers. I mean, generally like okayish terms with most people um, or good terms with, with a lot of them. Um, uh, S-Fan, yeah, these other people, Soda Poppin. But um, 
as that happened, like those two things happened. So the spread of the crazy political views throughout that whole Twitch community. So now you've got people like, you know, that Caroline Kwan or all these people talking about politics that have no idea what they're talking about. They give the most unhinged takes. It's all repeating stuff that Hassan has said. And then Hassan kind of controls like the social tendrils of these communities. And then as a result of that, a lot of the people in those communities start to have, they either have weird ideas about me or they repeat them to kind of like be part of the clique that Hassan kind of tries to control. And Ludwig is probably the most guilty of that. And he's just said some wild things about me. Like, like accused me of doxing Hassan, accused me of um, of like my community is like being the the progenitors of like some weird hate death threats or whatever that wasn't true. Like just like a lot of random like weird like side comments. Um, yeah, but then all of Ludwig's yeah. friends developed that, and then it also gets spread. And what seeing that slime dip start talking about me. Uh, like on I didn't even care about the comment on the show like I saw it I don't think I said anything I was like whatever and then I saw him talking about me on reddit and I was like okay that's weird whatever but then he made the twitter thread so then I responded with the like really did this need a whole twitter thread and then he instantly goes into the cuck jokes like at that point my brain is just broken it was like okay well all of these people let's just start like bombing everybody um yeah I, yeah that was basically my mind yeah I mean the, the the thing that I've I've kind of um hated about Ludwig that it kind of took me a while to realize because I just never really watched this stuff um mm -hmm. for a while um I started watching him on stream and I just noticed that I feel like there's nothing wrong with being impartial in videos if you're doing commentary stuff like there's oh, nothing God. wrong with being kind of impartial but I think the problem is that he's he's truly not impartial he aims to be his public facing thing is that he is and he's like kind of a fence sitter guy but then he'll also like take Hassan's side and kind of protect like certain people on Twitch that he likes and he'll he'll step outside of that to make weird comments so that that breaks his journalistic integrity right that's a conflict of interest yeah um so I hate that and I also hate the um, moral effing about stuff like um, making fun of certain things, making fun of um, Ludwig's wife or whatever, um, when they are you know willing to throw pot shots at people as long as it's the most socially acceptable people to go after, right? And you have their communities who are like, mm -hmm. oh, Destiny went too far. When you know people like Hassan have gone too far, you know, hundreds, who knows how many times, not just you know against you, but like laughing at cops dying, yep. or the whole, um, you know, the thing about. Uh, like laughing at Kyle Rittenhouse crying on the stand yeah. and stuff like that, or yeah. laughing about cops like innocent. Or questioning you know, the accounts that they come from people they don't agree with and all that. Yeah, that's my, like, I don't think I would ever get upset at like Nick Fuentes' community for calling me a cuck or like making fun of my divorce because it's like, okay, yeah, you guys are, yeah, I know where you guys are, of course. But then when I see these people who, yeah, moral uh, F or whatever over like every little itty bitty fucking thing, but like when it's the, when it's the right target, they can go unhinged. It's like, F you guys, like this is, yeah, f that, you yeah. know. But yeah, yeah. It's definitely um, another part of it that's like harder to articulate from like, a, I guess like a points perspective, like evidence perspective is just like the appeal to like content creation to me has always been like that it's not mainstream. It's not like, you know, all that kind of cringe goes on in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. um, and then now the state of Twitch is like there's 10 Jimmy Kimmel's basically who are running yeah. the website and are the most popular people. And they, they literally created their own um, award show for it where they just jerk <laughs> each other off. Yeah. And, you know, not to get here but the f up and coming featured creator was dylan mulvaney who is somebody who's not really a creator and was just yeah. like bolstered by um the you know powers that be mm -hmm. um I literally astroturfed into fame and now nobody's ever even heard of dylan mulvaney one um, of the funniest so things just, is it, that for that frogan girl she won the rising star like up and coming star two years in a row like she was never up and coming and she never up and came <laughs> like she just yeah, like, like, yeah. yeah like but like how many how many f years does she even have like she's not like a famous person no, she's not. She's just a Hassan mod, literally. That's it. Yeah. yeah, but once again, this is like, it's like Hollywood. It's just about who you know. It's about who yep. you're friends with, which is why I've always hated that kind of group of people. Uh -huh. um, not that they're all necessarily even like terrible people on their own, but just in the position they're in, they, they act very uh, silly with their audience, I think. And I, I gen generally don't like that. And the thing about Ludwig is I, I do like some of the things he's done. Like he is like a pretty impressively business-minded person. Yep. You know, he's built a bunch of cool brands. He's built off-brand, which I don't think is making a lot of money. Um, I think he talked about that in Colin and Samir. I think they brought in like 12 million and spent 10 million on it. So they, you know, mm -hmm. made two, but then they have to pay everyone. Yeah, so. And he supported but like I still game think scenes it's cool and like tournaments that. with like prize purses. Like he donates. Like, yeah, it seems like, yeah. 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 Like, like all that is really cool. But then it's just like you throw this one friend into the mix who has hatred for you. And then it seems to kind of, um, kind of question their integrity as a whole. And ultimately mm -hmm. I think it's like, if you want to watch Ludwig's content, I think that's fine, but you just shouldn't see him as like a particularly good or honest person. Another thing I really hate that he makes comments like this. Maybe I'm just a genu ge genuinely bad person or something. Maybe I'm an asshole. But he makes comments like, um, I don't hate anyone. I hope everybody does well in life. Hope everybody uh, succeeds. Like, yeah, nobody yeah, actually yeah. thinks that way. Obviously, like, it's nice to say that sometimes. You know, sometimes in your best moments, you'll have a boogie moment. You'll be like, oh, I love everyone. But generally, like, somebody 
you over. There's somebody you don't like. You're going to be preying on their downfall a little bit. You're going to be like, that guy, right? It's human nature. Um, so I just don't like the idea that he – it's just like a very fake positivity. Once again, like Jimmy Kimmel, like, I love everyone. I hope everyone does well. And I think it's – It's, it's an aesthetic. Right now. It's an aesthetic, right? Yeah. It's like it is, the, yeah. the liking everybody or being nice to everybody. Like if you actually did that, that'd be fine. Um like I said, like, the, yeah, my issue is only like the, I, they don't, I don't care if any of these people like me, just don't talk about me. But then when you green light these like weird attacks on me, and then you're like, oh, but we love everybody. It's like, then why not tell people not to like on me or make random jokes about me, right? Like, what, yeah. where were you when that guy on your show was like spam posting that black chick getting on Twitter? Like, where was your love for everybody then, right? It only comes out when they want a virtue signal. Um, yeah, to their audience is annoying, but whatever. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, uh, that's all I want to talk about. Take mm-hmm. it easy, buddy. I love you. Be careful. Bye. I appreciate that, Destiny. All right. Bye. Remember to hit that like and subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed. 